The timestamps of this video are in the description box. Agrata Purustas Chaiva Parvatascha Mahabalau Akarna Purna Dhanavanau Rakshatem Rama Laksmano Namaha I bow down to them whom I know as warriors of supreme strength, Ram and Lakshman. They stand with me before and behind, always close by, armed with bow and arrow. They always protect me. Salutations to Ram and Lakshman. Today, we are going to review Skion of Vikshvaku, a book by my favorite author in the genre of mythological fiction, Amis Tripathi. Ram's coarse white dhoti and angavastaram provided a startling contrast to his dark, flawless complexion. His nobility lent grace to the crude garments he wore. He was tall, a little taller than Sita. His broad shoulders, strong arms and lean muscular physique were testimony to his archery training. His long hair were tied neatly in an unassuming bun. He wore a thin Rudrax beads around his neck, a marker that he too was a fellow devotee of the great Mahadev, Lord Rudra. There were no jewellery his, on his person, no marker to signify that he was the scion of the powerful Surya Vansi clan, a noble descendant of the great emperor Ikshvaku. This is how Amis described Ram in this book. Ram, Skion of Ikshvaku, Book 1 of Amis's Ram Chandra series. Ram Chandra is a godly character in Hindu scriptures. He is held as an example of a perfect man and a perfect king. So he is called Mariyada Purusuttam, meaning the best among men and any state that functions with law and have no violence and discrimination is called Ramarajya, the state of Ram. Amish took Ram as the protagonist with all his qualities and deeds in the scriptures and weaved the gem, Skion of Ikshvaku. Amish is truly genius in the art of storytelling with mythological characters. Now, the question that many ask is that I like and know the true Ramayana. Then why should I read this story? The answer is, my friend, you are completely true. Even the story goes in the same structure as that of Ramayana. Having said that, it is like saying, I have ate egg boiled and like it, so I will not eat it fried. See, in both cases, the choice is completely yours. But the thing is, after reading this book, rather than just seeing Ram as a god and his deeds and work completely unrelatable in real modern life, you will relate yourself to the characters in this book and by the time you complete the Skion of Ikshvaku, you will feel the original Ramayan more close to you and characters like Ram and Lakshman more human relatable. Now, what's in the book? The book is, in short, a great entertaining piece of mythological story. The way Amis weaves each character in this book is truly good. Now, this series is a multilinear narrative with lot of characters and the connection brings them all together. The three main characters, Ram, Sita and Ravan, has life experiences which mold them into who they are and their stories converge with the kidnapping of Sita. So this one, the first book of the series is the tale of Ram, followed by Sita and Ravan, starting with how Ram is born and is declared inauspicious because of being born on the day Dasarath lost the battle to slowly Ram becoming the crown prince of Ayodhya and marrying Sita, the princess of Mithila. It also describes in detail the bonding of Ram, Lakshman, Bharat and Satrughna amidst the 
political instability around them how he goes to a self implied vanavasa exilation and how sita gets kidnapped it also introduces us to another key character in the story hanuman some quotes or lines i liked in the skion of ikshvaku are one if you compromise the prospects of strong and lean too much towards the interest of the weak then your society itself goes into decline two giving a sharp sword to a child is not an act of generosity but irresponsibility three all efforts to impose a concept upon others that do not respect it will only lead result in intolerance four when the whole universe conspires to break you remain unbowed it will bow to you five take lessons from ancestors don't be their blind follower six see marriage as a sacred partnership between two souls not as a political alliance between two power centers seven if you are among few who think different it doesn't mean you are wrong eight the beauty of a garden must be attributed to the ministration of talented gardeners than to the impressive infusion of funds the link to my review of the other two parts are given in the description box so if you like the details go and check out the skion of ikshvaku from the link below My name is Sridhi and thank you for watching today.